So as moms who have kids that are away from college doing their own thing, even teenagers, it could be tough trying to find that time to spend with each other. But I wanna give you some ways that you can entice your children in wanting to spend time with you, wanting to come home. And this can work for even adult children, um, but I can only speak to you where I am right now. I have a student, a, a kid in college. I have one in high school and one in middle school, you all. And so you can only imagine they always wanna spend time with their friends. Friends. They're always wanting to go places. So for me to encourage my kids to want to come home, to entice them to want to come home and spend time with their parents, I try to make the home a peaceful, cozy environment where we have fun, we play games, and that encourages them to want to come home because they know that it's kind of going to be a safe space, it's going to be fun, it's always cozy, clean, that kind of thing. And that might seem... Um, trivial, but it really isn't. Peace is something that even teenagers seek out, you know, so it's nice to, to have that in, in your home. Um, another thing is, like I said, setting up a game night. Like, hey, let's go play games. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Just have a game night where you play Monopoly, Uno, um, whatever it is, you know, video games where all the family come together because I want to maintain the family bonds between my three boys. I want them to remain close. So that takes work and effort. And so that's one way. But another way is sometimes you just got to bring the party to them. You've got to go to them, go to them, have dinner, bring the whole family. Family, hang out, do an activity there, go to the movies, go bowling. That's another way to help maintain family relationships. Um, but as far as enticing them to want to come home, you have to schedule things. If you want people to come see you, schedule it. I say, you know, put it on the calendar. Every other Sunday, we're going to do family dinner. Invite your friends. We'll watch a movie and dinner. You know, make it fun. Make it where they're like, oh, this is something that I look forward to. But whatever you do, make sure that your house is not full of drama because don't nobody want to visit and hear you fussing and fighting and carrying on, right? And nobody wants to be bored to sleep. So you just want to make it a space and place where people actually want to come and visit. And as moms, what I can say is you're going to have to orchestrate a lot of this, okay? <laughs> because if you leave it to them, you might not see them as much as you want to. So be a planner, plan things, and then get with your family to see what days work best and make it happen. Because life is too short to, you know, just sit there and pine away about, you know, what a wish could, nobody does this for me. No, make stuff happen, right? Make it happen. So... I just wanted to share that with you all. I hope this is helpful because I know how hard it is, especially when you know you have a child to go off to college and you're so used to seeing them every day and spending time with them all day long, and then they're doing their own thing. Mm. But you know what? Uh, where there's a will, there is a way. All right, guys, for real, for real, that's gonna be it today, okay? Enjoy your weekend.